you're ready to segment your network into VLANs. And why not? VLANs allow logical segmentation of a network. This can improve performance, security, and manageability by isolating traffic, controlling access, and simplifying network administration. Cisco Business Managed Switches provide two different options for creating VLANs, using the web user interface, UI, or with the command line interface, CLI. If you prefer to use the web UI, click the link in the description. In this episode of Cisco Tech Talk, I'll show you how to configure basic VLANs on Cisco business switches using the command line interface, CLI. Next. Today, I'll be using a Cisco Business 350 series switch for VLAN configuration. Using the show system command in privileged exec mode, you can see the switch details, including the model number of the switch. By default, VLAN 1 comes standard on Cisco Business switches. You can see that by using the command show VLAN in privileged exec mode. This shows the VLAN or VLANs that are currently configured on this switch. To start configuring VLANs on the switch using CLI, you need to log into the global configuration mode on your switch using the configure command. From here, there are a few options to create VLANs on a Cisco business switch using CLI. I'll be entering numbers and names of VLANs as examples. Yours may vary. The first option is to use global configuration mode. Since you're already in this mode, you can start entering commands. Enter VLAN, all lowercase, then add a number for the VLAN. In this example, I'll create VLAN 2. I'll create VLAN 3 and give it the name of Sales. As an option, instead of entering one VLAN at a time, you can create multiple VLANs with one command using a hyphen. In this example, I'll create VLANs 4 through 6. You can't add names to the VLANs when adding a range. Once VLANs are created, you can see a list of VLANs with the command do show VLAN. A second option is to use the VLAN database command in global configuration mode to enter the VLAN configuration mode. I'll enter VLAN 7 in lowercase to create that VLAN without a name. In this mode, you can also add a VLAN and give it a name, all with one command. In this case, I'll enter VLAN 8 name HR. To do a range of VLANs, the process is the same. Here, I'll create VLANs 9 through 12. You can see the VLANs that have been configured on this switch by entering the command do show VLAN. I'll enter the command exit to get out of the VLAN configuration mode. The third and final option I'll demonstrate is in global configuration mode. Use the interface VLAN command to enter the VLAN configuration mode. Here, I'll log into the VLAN interface and create VLAN 13. I'll give it the name Marketing. To exit from this specific VLAN interface configuration mode, I'll enter the Exit command. The prompt is back in global configuration mode. To configure a range of VLANs in this option, enter the command Interface Range VLAN 13-16. The V in VLAN needs to be capitalized. You can enter the VLAN IDs without a space if you choose. Now I'm in the VLAN interface configuration mode for the VLANs 13 through 16. You may log into another VLAN interface from here or create another range of VLANs. Here, I'm adding VLANs 17 through 19. I will add the space after the VLAN keyword to show that adding a space here is also acceptable. Enter the command end when you are done creating VLANs and want to go back to privilege exec mode. Once you have all your VLANs created, enter one last command of copy running dash config startup dash config. This saves all the new configurations. There you have it. Some simple options for configuring VLANs on your network using CLI. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.